Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Illusion of Gaia. We are in a tunnel under the sea, and there's a strange sound that we've been hearing, and we've got to run. I mean, it's it's just someone else attacking monsters. Quiet, everyone. This vibrating sound. It's Morse code. It's a signal ships use to talk to each other. Really? So, so, so we have radio, uh, but but it sure looked like people were just using sailing ships. The length of the sound indicates letters. Let's see if I can decode it. Wait. This is Seth. Seth? Shh, quiet. N Neil continues in, in Lily's voice, huh? I was swallowed by Riverson. Oh, so apparently we named the uh, um, the shark? Whale? I think it was a shark. I think that's what they said. When I came to, the form of my body had changed to Riverson to Riversons. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. This Riverson is a creature who lives in the ocean. I don't know if it's human or not. He said that evolution is being affected by the light of a comet. So, so the shadow of the comet? Are, are we going to have to deal with some Cthulhu stuff? Cthulhu mythos stuff? I wanted to continue the journey with you. But not in this body. You must figure out this riddle of the comet and the ruins. I don't hear anything now. Seth, I'm scared. This guy must have studied Morse code. Seth, too, did a good thing. But Seth didn't have a human form. No, Eric, don't jump to conclusions. Only humans think that human shape is the best one. I mean, but it is. Well, cheer up. Let's go. I mean, after dragon forms, you know. I think that's obvious. We're here at last. We've walked through the tunnel for almost a month. Look, a sign! What? Angel tribe? Travelers, please use this room. Angels living in a place like this? They say angels don't like meeting with people. First, we can rest in that room. Will, let's go. What? Will, come with me. What are you grinning about? I'll explore this place myself. Don't try to follow me. Why are you so grouchy? Maybe she's just tired. Let her be for now. Travelers, please use this room. Angel Tribe. This is a room, huh? Well, I want to talk to you about something. It's hard to talk about, but I seem to have fallen in love with Lily. I dream only of her. I want her to notice me. Notice me, senpai. It's not like me, is it? That's not true. But you've spent a lot of time together. It seems only natural. Soon it will be Lily's 15th birthday. I want to give her a present and tell her how I feel. What would you give her? A bouquet of flowers, a pretty necklace, a sweet kiss. Uh, go for the necklace. It would last longer of all of those. A bouquet of flowers is nice too, but... I think a pretty necklace would mean more in this situation. Flowers is more for, uh, you know, it works better as a little surprise or for significant days like anniversaries. And really, the sweet kiss is for, like, every day. All right, so pretty necklace. Of course, something she'd wear would be nice. When she sees it, she'll think of you. Of course, I'll find stones and make a necklace. Thanks for the advice. I'll think about it. It's good to have friends. 
It is. Um, how do you feel about not having friends, though? Because... Oh, uh, sorry, sorry, I didn't, didn't, didn't mean that. Why do angels live in such a dark, gloomy place? Dark place, it feels so gloomy. I mean, it's underground. The sun is really bright. I never noticed that before. Neil. Neil! I think the angels are descendants of the Moo people. I mean... We're, we're jumping to a lot of conclusions. Maybe they just spell angle differently than we do. Maybe it's the angle tribe. Angel village and entrance. Oh, well, let's go in there. Uh, actually, um... Okay. Wanted to make sure that uh, I haven't missed a red jewel. This is the Angel Village. If our bodies are exposed to the sun for long, we'll perish. That seems really, really, really bad. Um, <laughs> like, incredibly bad? You guys are, uh, kinda, kinda screwed. <laughs> I don't know when we started living here, but when I look at the ocean, my heart aches. Oh, I like that statue. We have no emotions. I've neither laughed nor cried since the day I was born. I just survive. Well, that seems even worse. It's been said that we are the form of into which humans evolve. Boy, it sucks to be humans. Glad I'm a dragon. Squeegee, squeegee, squeegee. All right. Uh. Can't. Ooh, hello. Woman playing harp. Music is the best medicine for the soul. The right song will cure any disease. Um. I I don't know that you could really play actual good music uh, with without emotions. I'm the jeweler gem. I control the seven seas. I'm holding 23 of the red jewels for you. You've collected over 20 jewels. According to the list, your p psycho power will be raised. It's a mysterious power given by the spirit. Your psycho dash power is increased. Uh, okay. Alright, so we got this psycho power. Next up is dark power. And we're, uh, we're making our way along there. And then uh, my secrets. I don't know how many red jewels are actually in the game, and I don't know how many red jewels we could have by now for sure. But I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, I don't want to go down yet. Huh. You found a red jewel! Sweet! That is the uh, one red jewel in here. There we go. This is the Angel Village. If our bodies are exposed to the sun for long, we'll perish. People here love to dance. And yet you have no emotions? I dance to remember what it feels like to be human, but... I like the portraits. The picture on that wall was painted by Ishtar. But the model in the painting was lost. I mean, they, they look a lot like uh, you guys. We are expressionless, but Ishtar painted us with faces overflowing with human kindness. After that, people wanted to be painted, wanting to be painted, flocked here. I used to dance with the person in that picture. Oh, I can't get up there to talk to the uh, other harpists. So where's Ishtar? Okay, I've heard that. I've heard that. Once a human woman named Kara came here. Ishtar praised her beauty. Then she went to his studio. Once? 
ones. Am I in some sort of time warp? I'll show you the way to the studio. Remember it. Go with the wind. If you look at which way the torch flame bends, you'll understand. Down the dark street, through where the wind blows, to where you can hear the waterfall. Then look for the place where the sound of the waterfall is loud. Ishar's studio is in front. Be careful. Excuse me? <laughs> that is, uh... That is a bizarre set of instructions. Alright, hold on a second. Let me uh, pull up a map. Oh my lord, this place is gigantic. Yeah, this place is uh, enormous. Okay. That's where we came from. We went in there. And let's go down here. Hey, there's a dark space. Get a save. I'm a sculptor. I plan to make 1,000 statues in my lifetime. That is, uh, that is a lot. She appears to be sleeping. It's like the spirit's drawn out. Huh. Right, scooch along behind that waterfall. Do you know the painter Ishtar? Nope. You should speak with everyone. Then yes, Ishtar's studio is on the other side of this door. But in front, creatures with hate in their hearts are waiting. If you must go, you can open the door. Okay. Well... Looks like we got a dungeon. Alright, 13 enemies here. And let's see. Alright, there are going to be some more uh, red jewels. Alright, so the torches are going in the opposite direction. Not sure if that indicates uh, that I should not be going this way. Don't you throw your rib at me. Oh, I am taking damage. Guys, oh, there we go. Some more damage. All right, anything that way? No. Hey, all right. My strength has increased. Very nice. All right, keep on going. That goes down. Does this also go down? And it does. I don't like you. Okay, not so difficult. seem to go down quite a far, quite a ways, huh?
All right, nothing here but enemies, but I probably need to defeat them all, so, you know. Probably a good idea to be here. Got you. Just uh, bobble his head a little bit. Alright, so there was a comment about a dark cavern. That might be where we need to go, but I think there's some other passages, right? Yeah. That's going down. And this just goes back to where we were. Yeah, alright. ribs. Your hit point power has increased. And that gives us some uh, more hit points. That's good. All right, so we're out of enemies here. Um, let's see. Looking for a better way of figuring out where I go here. Okay, I think everything that I want is going to be in some chests, so that's good. Lots of bats, huh? Okay, two more. Come back here. There we go. Your strength has increased. Very nice. Alright, seven enemies. So that's blowing away, and that's blowing away. The wind blows through a crack in the wall. I found a hidden pass. Oh, I didn't have to even smash it. All right. Oh, wow. Those things are, like, right out of Actraiser. Something like that in, uh... In Soul Blazer as well? I can't remember. Your death defense has increased. Alright, where does this go first? Wind Tunnel. Uh... Aha! You found a red jewel! Excellent. The entrance is too small, because I need to do that. power has increased. Alright, there we go. Got a 
going that way. It's a lot of bats and a lot of sculptures. A lot of those things as well. And some more defense. Very nice. Okay, is that uh where we need to go? Yep, looks like it. Seems like no enemies. Okay. Hmm. The wind blows through a crack in the wall. I found a hidden pass. There we go. All right. So we got a uh, waterfall here that I think we did hear about. Nothing there. our way along here. Oh. Kara's picture. She's contained inside it. Oh, dear. Yeah, we had heard that uh, someone had uh, disappeared. Hmm. That seems bad. All right. Let me go ahead and save state, because I need to find some more red jewels. I'm not sure exactly where they are. Oh, found a red jewel. There we go. Is there one back here? So that's the painter. I don't want to deal with you yet. Ishtar's voice resounds. Learn well the condition of that room. When you've learned it, leave the room. Uh oh. Alright, let me talk to you. I wonder if you're here to get Kara. Go into this room. If you solve all the riddles, I'll give back the girl. So I need to find another red jewel. Um, let me see. Ah, okay. Show me how it's different from the room before. Um, I think that, oh, I got an arrow. Uh, I believe this one was uh, orange rather than uh, gray. Right answer, the jar has changed color. Good, go on to the next room. Ah, so we're going to have, uh, let's see, a little space there, yep. Solve the puzzle of the room, you may pass. Alright. Learn well the condition of that room. When you've learned it, leave the room. Could just say, uh, a screenshot. Alright, so we've got two orange uh, jars there. We've got a flat table. You've got a uh, green background, you've got a gray background. And there's a stone over there. Good, 
to go on to the next room. All right, well, that was pretty easy. <coughs> Learn well the condition of that room. When you've learned it, leave the room. You found an herb. All right. Right answer. How have the contents of the jewel box changed? Good, go on to the next room. Found a red jewel. Well, and I got an herb. Thanks. All right. All right, we got the last two rooms. Learn well the condition of that room. When you've learned it, leave the room. So we've got a stone there, we've got uh, two of these statues here, and we've got a uh, an alcove with a lady sculpture. Show how it's different from the room before. I think my hair is blowing. I don't think it was blowing before. Right answer. The wind blew your hair around. You have passed my test well. You may return. This is an elaborate thing to uh, give me back my, my princess friend. All right. But before we do that... We're going to call it an episode. Will we have a boss fight to fight? I don't know. I haven't looked that far ahead in the fact. <laughs> See you next time, everyone.